So watch now, children, what we're going to do. Make a gap there for the speedster of Europe coming through. Make a gap. Now, children, we're going for goals here. The ball has to be hit in here for a goal. In there for a goal. So now the ball is in my hand. The hurley is in my hurley hand and I can run freely. <coughs> we'll have a cone here to turn from a skip to a, from a run to a side skip. When you hit the white line or when you're across the white line, good man yourself. Then you turn your body sideways and get a goal. Are you watching me? Yeah. So you cross the white line, hurley is nice and neat, 90 degrees to the forearm coaches, nice and air cocked up, ready to go. No dripsy dropsy, yeah? You see a lot of that in places, nobody seems to notice. Hurley is up and ready. One foot on each side of the white line, and goal! If you hit the pillar, you get 20 points. Line up in front of a pillar, get back to your place and ready to go. So children, you'll have one foot on each side of the white line and you get, you get 20 points if you hit the pole. So make sure you're lined up with a pole. Will you do the demo for everybody? Run, turn, skip, strike. Oh, bingo, 20 points in the bag. First go, whoa. Are we ready? Again, it'll be five, four, three. Have the ball back at three to your friend. Five, four, three, two. We're doing really brilliant now, aren't we coaches? So once you remove fear, so we're, we're more concerned about body structure, but the child loves to hit the ball. So we're winning and they're winning. Oh, I keep that hand free. Keep it free, it doesn't have to hold the hurley, it's busy. Right, run now. So he was bothered holding the hurley Common, right, watch. Shh. Watch! A child has a bother and they're holding the hurley. They're holding the hurley here, propping it here. And then they're not ready. They're two separate things that allow freedom. So watch your child that's worried that the hurley will get away or something, or else somebody's been shouting at him two hands on the hurley and is a good child and he keeps the rule. Do you get it? He doesn't need to keep the rule, he needs to be ready for the shot. Will you do that again for everybody? That was super. Now, lovely. Away you go. Run, turn, skip, strike. You see the freedom after coming? So you've got to find his key now and untap that freedom and let him enjoy it and let her enjoy herself. Swing it now, swing it now. That's that boy. Now, you're ready to copy him, aren't you? If he can do it, you can do it. Oh! How about that? Now the great killer sentence, the great killer sentence for coaches is tell the child to throw up the ball. And once the ball is thrown up, I'm useless. Nobody throws up the ball in real hurling. They throw the ball down. They throw the ball down. So the old sentence of throwing the ball up kills the child structurally. So roll the ball down, roll the ball down, and then strike. So throwing up the ball has killed the good children because they always do what they're told. Do you get the point? Yeah. If I say throw up the ball, all the good children throw up the ball and now they can't hit it. So children, you present the ball to the hurley around knee high, around knee high. That's where you want the ball, around your knee. And again, you're beginning to sit in your chair, coaches. Watch, ball coming down to my knee. I'm sitting in the chair. Sit down there and strike the ball. Okay, coaches, 20 seconds. A change of structure. You're a great girl, thanks so much. Oh, that's brilliant. 
Do you see the power you're getting? See the power he's generating? Now stand there and do it again. You're, you're on the right track. Turn over your hurley. Turn over your hurley every time. Now, you're on the right track. You're the good boy here, doing all you're told. Now you want to learn a new one. So get the ball down around your knee and swing. Now, swing a little earlier because the ball is lower. Now, go again. Swing a little earlier. Do you see it? See it coming? Swing a little earlier. Now you can't miss, can you? So the boy that had the high throw has a slow swing. And once he presented the ball lower, he might miss it. And then he thinks he's failing. <laughs>